Okay, here's a simple pose that I put bishop into. And let's talk about the IK and FK spine. The FK is the forward kinematics where you do the rotation of the of the spine. And the for and the spine IK is when you can grab those and, and actually uh, translate them. So you look here, on any curve you see there are rotation and translation points. So you kind of get the FK and IK spine built into the spine. Um, for me, I typically use forward kinematics on the spine, and I'm just going to talk about my personal workflow. Um, you might want to ask your mentor um, what their technique and workflow is because they might be different than, than mine. Um, typically, I try to get about 99, if not 100% of all the things I need um, out of forward kinematics. That just works well for me. The cool thing about this spine or spline or spine spline IK is that you can get some pretty fun movement um, by just doing some some translation and uh, you know I think the guys over at DreamWorks use this kind of stuff a lot and and it's kind of breaking the character a little bit like a anatomically however if you respect it you can get something that's that's really flexible. If I wanted to just do something like that where the character is, you know, it's like dancing around or doing something like that, you, you can see I'm just getting that from X, Y, and Z translation. Whereas if I had to do that with rotations, that might be a brutal mess. Um, so for me, I, I kind of always start any shot kind of looking at what is the challenge I'm trying to solve? What is the emotion I'm trying to communicate? Um, what is the acting I, I want to convey to my audience? And then I kind of sit down with a piece of paper and try to figure out exactly what, what I need. Um, and on this particular one, say he's reaching down and picking something up, it's pretty straightforward. However, this looks a little ugly in here. So one of the things I might do is, you know, rotate this, get it to a good point. And then I can also um, translate this back a little bit. And as you can see, when I did that, it's given the spine now a, a much smoother line of action. Whereas if I didn't do that, I'm just going to hit undo. It gets a little kind of ugly in here a little bit. And without that rotation there as well, it, it's just, it, it looks a little like almost like an S in here. It's too, too complicated. So again, I just rotate that guy. Uh, and translate them back a little bit and for me that just feels like a much smoother line of action all the way from the head all the way down pretty much to the knee here it's a pretty nice smooth line of action um, so for me what I do a lot is, is I've been talking about in some of my demos is I will uh, use something like you know this the spine IK and then I will probably pepper it out so I'll hit it and I'll translate it all back to zero when I'm done and that way I'm just keeping things really clean for me keeping all my curves clean is super key that way I know what I'm using and when I'm using it and when I'm not and if there are some values added on something you know and then I'm continue to animate forward and some you know I'll, when I go to my graph editor when I'm cleaning up there might be curves that are that look like they're being used but they're not really being used so again like just when I have an arm move from one pose to the next I'll, I'll tr you know set all the rotations back to zero and then start the new pose for me that way I just know I'm I'm being clean and if I don't have a value on something and it's rotated to zero then I know when I'm cleaning up later that that's just not being used at that moment in time and so I don't really need to necessarily pay attention to that so again translating things back to zero when you're done is, is super key um, yeah so that's pretty much it for spine IK I know it can be uh, more complicated but really I, I don't need it to be too complicated I, I, I try to be really careful about how much I use it and then when I'm using it I just try to make sure to get those values back to, to zero so with that I hope that helps out you guys have a great week and keep on rocking it adios